They came dressed as iPhones and carried a quarter million signatures to Apple stores around the globe. Some of Apple's most devoted customers, who have now become its biggest critics, are demanding the technology giant improve working conditions in its overseas factories. We love our Apple products, but we want them to be made without horrible human suffering. And, and those are the stories that are coming from the Chinese factories right now, that people are using the, u- losing the use of their hands from repetitive motion injuries and, and committing suicide at incredible rates because the factories are so terrible. I don't think that it has to be that way, and we're calling on Apple to make an ethical iPhone. Apple subcontractors employ 700,000 workers primarily in China to engineer, build and assemble its many products. Recent reports have called attention to troubling working conditions. Apple said in a statement, we insist that our suppliers provide safe working conditions, treat workers with dignity and respect. Our suppliers must live up to these requirements if they want to keep doing business with Apple. Labor experts say Apple suppliers are far from the worst offenders, but that's no excuse. Pointing to other manufacturers uh, that have the same sorts of problems in their factories is not necessarily going to help because those other manufacturers don't all have the, um, the resources, the brand, the reputation that Apple has at stake. We don't believe that Apple can't do better. In response to negative publicity, Apple recently announced that the Fair Labor Association would be monitoring its suppliers. Clearly, the company is concerned this campaign is having an impact on its image. But will it affect the company's bottom line? I wouldn't know anything about the condition, so if I knew more about it, I probably would be concerned. I'm not agreeing with the, the way they're, they're producing their, they're making their products, but I still, I still, I'm still going to buy it. The ethical iPhone campaign started with an online petition that stopped short of calling for a boycott of Apple products. There's no smartphone that you could buy that you could trace its origins back to conflict-free minerals, to fair working conditions in China. They are hoping Apple will use its power to change standards for the entire tech industry and polish its own image in the process. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.